वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 3.38 सो स्टेटमेंट इज एल्यूमिनियम रॉड ए बी जी इज 27 गेगा पास्कल इज बाउंडेड टू ब्रॉस रॉड बी डी हैविंग जी इज 39 गेगा पास्कल नोइंग दैट पोर्शन सी डी ऑफ द ब्रॉस रॉड इज हॉलो एंड हैज इनर डायमीटर ऑफ 40 मिलीमीटर डिटरमाइन द एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट एट ए सो यू कैन सी दिस इज एल्यूमिनियम रॉड ए बी एंड दिस इज ब्रॉस रॉड बी डी क्लियर दे आर बाउंडेड टूगेदर एट दिस पॉइंट and the torque at point a is 800 newton meter that is counter clockwise and torque at b is 1600 newton that is also counter clockwise and it is given that uh, portion cd of this brass rod is hollow having inner diameter is 40 mm all the lengths are given the length of ab is 400 mm bc is 375 mm and cd is 250 mm so you have to find the angle of twist at point a so we will calculate this angle of twist at point a will be equal to angle of twist in rod in rod a, a in rod ab plus angle of twist in b with respect to c i will write angle of twist between a and b plus angle of twist of point c with respect to d because you can see they are acting as a single unit so total uh, angle of twist will be this one so what we will do is that uh, we will first uh, go to the rod ab so for rod ab g is given as 27 giga pascal 27 into the power 9 pascal clear length of ab is given as 0.4 meter 400 mm and that is 4.0.4 meter torque uh, we will torque uh, talk about torque so you can see this is uh, 800 so if you cut it over here so the torque will be in clockwise direction so t will be again equal to 800 newton meter for region for ab okay so also diameter of rod ab is given as diameter of rod ab is given as 36 mm 36 mm meter which is equal to 0.036 meter so radius c will be equal to dab divided by 2 and that is 0.036 divided by 2 will be equal to 0.018 meter what will be j j is the polar moment of inertia for this solid rod which is pi by 2 c power 4 so pi by 2 c is 0.018 power 4 so you will get j will be equal to 164.896 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4 now we know that angle of twist of point a with respect to b will be equal to torque into length ab divided by g of ab into uh, j of ab which we have calculated so you can just put the value torque is 800 multiplied by length is 0.400 g is 27 giga pascal so 27 into 10 to the power 9 and j is 164.896 into 10 to the power minus 9 so when you calculate you will get the angle of twist of point a with respect to b will be equal to 71.875 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian now what we will do is that we will move toward our rod bc so for rod bc if you cut the beam over here so you can see 800 plus 1600 12 2400 so your tbc will be equal to 
2400 but that will be clockwise okay so i will write tbc tbc is 2400 newton into meter length of bc is given as 375 millimeter which is 0 0.375 meter c is dbc divided by 2 so l is you can see is 375 millimeter outer diameter is 60 millimeter so 60 is 0 0.06 divide meter divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.030 also j will be equal to pi by 2 c power 4 so pi by 2 c 0 0.030 power 4 and that will give you 12 point 1.27234 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 now you have all the values you can just put theta angle of twist of point b with respect to c will be equal to tbc into lbc divided by gbc into jbc jbc so tbc is this one lbc is this one j or bc is this one and g for bras portion is 39 giga pascal so I will write G is equal to 39 giga Pascal, 39 10 to the power 9 Pascal. So put the value 2400 multiply by 0 0.375 divided by 39 into 10 to the power 9 and JB is, JBC is 1.27234 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. So when you calculate it, you will get angle of twist of point B with respect to C comes out to be 18.137 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. Okay, now we will move toward uh, part rod, rod CD which is hollow. Clear? So C inner and C outer will be C outer is you can see here the C outer is this is D outer which is 60 millimeter clear so C outer will be equal to D outer divided by 2 so 60 millimeter is 0 0.060 meter divided by 2 will be equal to 0 0.030 meter and c inner is d inner divided by 2 so d inner in given question is 40 millimeter so 0 0.040 divided by 2 will be equal to 0 0.020 meter so what will be j so j c d will be equal to pi by 2 c outer power 4 minus c inner power 4 j is polar moment of inertia so pi by 2 0 0.030 power 4 minus 0 0.020 power 4 okay so when you calculate it you will get jcd will be equal to 1.02102 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter power 4 okay so length of cd is given as you can check it this is 250 millimeter so in meter it is 0 0.250 0 0.250 g is equal to g of brass which is 39 giga pascal so 39 interest for 9 pascal so theta of angle of twist of point c with respect to d will be equal to tcd into lcd divided by gcd into j c d and if you look at this diagram so the same torque of 2400 will be applied in portion c d so t c d is also 2400 newton into meter so put the value 2400 multiply by length 0 0.250 
divided by g which is 39 into 10 to the power 9 pascal multiplied by 1.02102 into 10 to the power minus 6 and you will get the answer 115.06 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian now what we will do is that we know that deflection or angle of twist at point A is equal to angle of twist of point A with respect to B plus angle of twist of point B with respect to C plus angle of twist of point C with respect to D. So put the value theta AB is this one, theta BC is this one and theta CD is this one. So I will put the value 71.875 into 10 raised to power minus 3 plus 18.137 into 10 raised to power minus 3 plus 15.06 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So you will get theta A will be equal to 105.080 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian and we know that 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree so 1 radian is equal to 360 divided by 2 pi and that is equal to 1 radian is equal to 180 degree over pi so multiply 105.080 multiply by 180 degree divided by pi and that will be equal to 6.02 degree so theta a is equal to 6.02 degree the angle of test of point a is 6.02 degree and that was all about this problem 3.2 38 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching